Hello, this is Christian. Welcome to Angular. This is part two of the three part series for um, building this table here. Now, last time we created this table already using the bootstrap table um, examples, and then now we're going to go and populate these tables with the actual data from the JSON data file. So let's go over here. And up here, I provided the uh, file to uh, get that data from. So just click on it. And this is the actual data file, the JSON data. So I'm just going to copy all of this, Control A, Control C, copy everything. And you can close it. We don't need this anymore. And uh, let's go to actually the code. So here in Visual Studio Code, in the app.component.html. Okay, this is the one that we're going to um, populate the data to this TRs and TDs right here. But I'm going to go and create a folder here in the app folder and we'll call it models to store our data model in here okay so later on we actually gonna build maybe like a, a class to handle all the models in here for us but for now we're just gonna create a very simple file and we call it uh, I'll call it flight data dot ts okay and then here we just create a variable name um, I'll call it export um, constant flight data and then equals don't want to just copy just kind of paste it right in here okay so all the data are here already we have about 10 data to um, seed for this assignment and you can right click and format and see what it looks like yeah it's already formatted so all right so this is done for this part now it's a uh, um, object so we explore that out and then we can again we're going to import into the app the component ts here okay this is the root component so we'll import up here import the flight data from the models folder and then the flight data okay and then right in here in the class area we're going to create another variable called maybe just flight data again lowercase assigned to the flight data that we just imported okay now this title here it's been here for a while uh, we could probably take advantage of this right now and we'll call this like flight scheduler okay and we can we can just you know add that to the template here so if you go to the app component template HTML the very top remember we hard coded these in here in the h1 we can take that out and in its place just put title in here right pretty cool huh all right so we got that done now this part will stay as is and we're going to modify this part here okay so we don't need all of these here will be all because um, it's duplicating so we didn't need we we'll use a loop use ng4 to loop through the entire uh, trs and get all the rows in here so right in the t body here you put um well actually not in here but in the tr itself right because when you do ng4 right on the tag this tag is included okay so you can do it here or if you want you can do it, you can go here and use again the ng container like we did in the previous one if you want it if that's cleaner for you you can do that here too just make sure you wrap it like this with the container inside it like that okay you can do that that's fine but if this is already part of that and you you're not using two directives like ng if ng4 here then just do it right here on tr because tr we include it so here I'm going to do something like um, so like the ng4 and then we're going to just loop that through the table to the uh, object called flight data we, we created here it's an object array of objects and then we loop that through here so let's go ng4 and I'm going to say let um, flight every flight of flight data Okay, and then that's automatically wrap that from here to here, right? And in here, the first one is going to be the flight ID, right? Flight ID. Uh, no, no. This is the um, flight number. So um, I think yeah, flight number. Why does it keep doing that? 
um, oh, I forgot to wrap it with this. You have to wrap with the double curlies. Otherwise, it's just going to get just plain text. It has to be interpolated. Okay, so here will be uh, flight dot um, the type trip type right here. That's that one. This is the flight dot um, departure airport, and then flight arrival airport. Flight uh, departure date. I feel like I'm missing something. Yeah, I'm missing something. Where's the airline? Flight dot uh, return date. <clears throat> and I'm going to delete one here and add one up here. I missed the, the flight, um, the airline. Okay. All right. So that is it for that one but down here the very last one are the two buttons so we have two of them one is an anchor link right and then the other one is a button okay so the anchor link first now that's going to go to the href of um, edit and then the id so here will be flight dot then the flight id right just ID okay um, is that what's called Got flight ID I think that's right yeah that's flight ID so we're gonna that's gonna go to that page and we want to make this as a button so I want to say class is or the type first type is a button and the class is going to be hmm, what well, btn and then we have a btn um, i'll make it green like the example and it's going to be a small button so btn small sm for small and we'll see what that looks like so inside here then we have the text called edit um, and then the same thing down here kind of similar i'll call it again type would be just button the class is going to be kind of the same as above, btn, btn, um, this will be kind of red, so danger, okay, danger, and btn small as well. And then when you click on this button, it's going to have a click event. So we add, we bind that to the click event. This is one away, a couple of ways. And then equal the a function called delete flight we'll pass the flight ID to it so that is a function um, it doesn't have it yet because I haven't created it yet and then inside the button here is the message delete okay and I think that is good for this part now we need to go in a create this function that doesn't have this red line here it says it's not defined so let's go into the app components and right in here I add a function called delete flight takes an ID and then we'll just leave that for now to do okay let's save that the template looks I think looks good um, yeah let's just go and see what it looks like okay save it and run your app if you haven't run already. I think mine is still running. So let's go to the browser and check it out. Here we go. Today is all here, right? It's all um, populated. Nice. The green's kind of hard to see the blue text, so I'm, I'll make it white. And we need a um, some spacing around the buttons here. So we do like a nav. I mean a, a margin left or margin right for each, either one. Okay, other than that, yeah, it looks ready to go. And so let's go back and fix that. So right in here, the text here, it, it's hard to see. So I'm going to add to this class, just say text white. 
that's all very very easy and you can put a margin to the right of it so you can say m uh, mx uh, mr for right i think just put like two okay and uh, save that and the uh, console and the, here in the to do pair part here i'm just going to put the console uh, i'll log the id to the console so make sure it actually works okay let's save that and let's go back and see if this works so here we go it's nice it's good to see here i think the white it's italicized you want to italicize that that's that's cool that's okay if you don't that's okay too it doesn't really matter for this part um, and then so if I click on edit as you can see it goes to the edit page you just saw very slightly very briefly then it's gone but if you click on delete okay you don't see it until you press F12 inspect it and the console it should print the ID here so again this is the error error because we didn't have the routing yet so clear this again if I press delete for one it should give the ID one here as you can see if I go to ID 5 there we go so we have the ID passed to the function we can then go ahead and delete that okay so um, that is good for this one here so in the next video we can come back and refactor this again and we we'll do we also process the delete to delete this data